So this sheep here, because by nature, she's going to follow this one. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes, when this one gets a word, it causes her to go astray. Amen. So even though the shepherd is talking, this one is so concerned by with following the one in front. So by looking, rather than hearing, they miss God speaking. Yes. So the shepherd is speaking, uh -huh. but this one is going the own way. Come on, come on. And so by nature, this one's gonna walk right behind. That's right. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. All because the shepherd was speaking. Oh my God. But you were following. My. Oh my God. Jesus. That's why it's leaders. Hallelujah. I tell y'all something, I don't care what go on. I got some folk in life changers going to tell me if somebody acted off. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you call them tattletales, yeah. okay. snitching, whatever you want to call them. Come on, come on. Come on. You better appreciate those. I know that's right. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I got a son that's 13 years old. And my wife made him take his five-year-old sister to the park. He had an attitude. This, that, and the other came back, and I didn't even have to talk to him. I got a daughter named Ariel. Yes, sir. She's the reporter. <laughs> now listen, I know she is because she got it from me. <laughs> I didn't have to talk to Justin. I just asked Ariel, what did your brother say? Well, he said he didn't want to go in there because he didn't want to hear Mama mouth. <laughs> and I know she couldn't have made that up. <laughs> Tell you something. They say this. I had one preacher say, the eyes of the Lord are in every Everybody place. Yes. Said, beholding the good and the evil. But he said, and where the eyes of the Lord are not, there's a saint somewhere watching. <laughs> We live life like it's a saint somewhere watching. Yeah. I'm yeah. ready to pray. Woo. Pastor, I was at the fries. I was getting in my car and the man said, excuse me, sir, you have any change? And I was putting all my money in my pocket. I said, no, nah, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> and I sat down in the car. And that fella looked at me and said, that's all right. Next time, I'm just going to take the money. <laughs> wow. Wow. Thank God for what you said. Pastor Spencer, I did want to be. I had to look around, make sure it wasn't no saint nowhere. <laughs> I can't wait. Y'all ain't going to be real. Jesus. I said, I had to beat the brakes off of you. And I promise this would be the last window you ever reach in. The last one. Let me tell y'all something. This church shall I. This, when I was driving, I heard the Lord say, He said, I didn't need. And I, I try to be. I don't. The spirit of prophecy comes on me. But I don't like, and I say this word respectfully, fooling with real prophets. I don't like doing that because I don't operate in, in the office of a prophet. That spirit comes on me. So I'm very sensitive, especially when you're talking to leaders. Yeah. Hallelujah. You have to be sensitive because we're living in a day now. I don't need a made up word. The anointing upon my life. I asked God, I said, what's the apostolic anointing on my life? The Lord said, the anointing upon your life, and that's why that word transition is in home. Because the anointing upon my life, there's a gift upon my life to pull you from your place of promise to the place of revelation. Or to where things are revealed. Get right back to you. This is, thank you, Holy Ghost. So you've been promised some things. But the reason why it feels like everything is held up is because it's not until you get or you transition from the promise to the place of revelation that everything you prayed for 
is starting to be revealed. Yeah. So listen, when you get to the place of revelation, then your life becomes a magnet and every prayer you ever pray, then it starts to overtake you. So as long as Satan can keep you at the place of promise, but never transition to the place of revelation, you'll become disgusted and dissatisfied with the promise. Sarah had a promise, but she couldn't move to the place of revelation. So she became disgusted. You don't believe it? I gotta quit. Listen, the Bible said, Abel was in there, he had a conversation with God. Sarah was in the tent. He had a conversation with, with Abram. He told Abram, he said, listen, you can ready to have this baby. He wasn't even talking to Sarah. She was in the tent. But let me tell you something, brothers, sisters got dog ears. You think you whispering. Okay, I'll prove it to you. The Bible said Sarah was in the tent. He wasn't even talking to Sarah. He told Abraham, he rehearsed the promise to Abram, and Sarah was in the tent, supposedly minding her own business when God spoke. She laughed. She laughed. She laughed, and so then God stopped talking to Abram, went to her and said, what you laughing at? And then she lied and said, I wasn't laughing. Can I tell you something? Women, if you got a husband or whatever, you got to be careful because sometimes the promise is just off of your response, not his response. That's wow. right. Yeah. He was talking to Abram, but he made a declaration based off of her response. How you handle the word determines what that word looks like. Okay, you don't believe it? He said, since you laugh, when the baby come, name him laughter. Right. Right. Abram had the promise, but God made her name the promise. Yeah. Right. Wow. Come on, the wow. Come on. Talk back to me. Wow. You gotta be careful how you respond to the word. Can I tell you something? That's why. That's why I love this church. Because when I was here with Pastor McGee, the church responds to the word. Can I tell you something? Most of us don't understand. I'm already praying why we don't get blessed financially. It's because you don't respond to the word. Listen, let me tell you something. When you bless the man and woman of God, here's the principle. When you bless the man and woman of God, the reason why you miss the blessing is because you think you're blessing the man and the woman. You're blessing the man and the woman because of a reaction to the word. They're not the word, they are the reaction of the word. So you can give that same seed to them and miss the blessing because you gave it to them and not responding to the word. That's why when you get a word, that's why when you go to certain churches, you see them running up there, throwing off. But they're not responding to the man or woman of God, they're responding to the word. If you want money, it takes money to pay money. You don't, you want oranges, you don't plant apple seeds. Hallelujah. God speaking to you and say, sow seed, and you just try to dance. No, it's a time for dancing. Listen, dancing on the word don't move me. Respond. The ground is open. You got to put seed. Can I tell you something? Hallelujah. Me and this pastor, we love dancing. When somebody starts dancing at the temple, we look at each other. Just go to smile. But your shout is not a seed. Say it again. 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 Say it Check my account, it was still negative. I can't hear nobody say that before. <laughs> I'm trying to shout. Turn it around. No more NSA. But I had to give. Listen, somebody here today, you say, God, 
It's time for me to transition. Yes. But the Lord said, lift your hands. Yes. Those of you that are ready to transition. But when I was driving up here, the Lord said, the anointing upon your life, I don't need to prophesy and say you're going to be greater prophets and a greater anointing of, and the apostolic. But the Lord simply said, this next season of your life, whatever this means to you, I don't know what, what's this thing going on. But the Lord said that there's going to be a transition that God is going to raise you up in the atmosphere or in the arena of the marketplace. Hallelujah. And so I said, God, what are you saying? The Lord said in the marketplace, he's getting ready to open up some doors because there needs to be a flow that when you sleep, your money is still flowing. Let me tell you why. Because God said, I'm getting ready to open some doors that you all are going to be ministering at such a level to where you don't have time to even be wondering or concerned with how the upkeep of this is going to go. But God said, I'm going to give you favor in the marketplace so that whatever bill comes across your desk, even if you all are in Africa ministering at a conference, you'll just call home, the administrator will say, this, that, pay. But God said, in the marketplace. Ah, thank you. I don't know what's going on, but I even see paperwork. That God is saying that it's already been approved. And God says some things are turning around. So listen, and I heard the Holy Ghost specifically say, He said, Tell my son and daughter, this next season, it's not coming by way of loan. Because if it comes by way of loan, then that leaves somebody to have influence because of what your credit may look like and all of that. But God said, People are going to begin to sow significant seed into your life. May you not want for anything. Say it's Lord. Lift your hands all over the I know he's all right. I know. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Let me talk to you. Oh, my baby. Oh, shy. Let me keep going, shy. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all us go all night. I can't hear nobody say nothing to me. Amen. Yeah, good Amen. music. I make you keep acting up all night. Y'all sit down. I need to talk to you. Let me talk to you. Sit down by the campfire. 